so it's the next day and I wanted to kind of say something so in my <clears throat> the video that you just saw I talked about how I lost some hair whenever I went raw and vegan and I want to kind of explain a backstory to that as to why I know that I lost hair and why I think a lot of women lose hair whenever they start the detoxification journey okay and that is because whenever I was 21 and yes, I was eating raw at this time as well. Um, I had the bright idea. I was in college and I just was young. But I had the bright idea to bleach my hair blonde. And if I can try to find a picture, I will insert that here. But if not, just trust me, I had white hair. And it first started out with highlights and then if you're a girl, you can probably agree it gets very addicting and I just wanted lighter and lighter and lighter hair until I had bleach blonde hair, okay? So that is probably the worst thing you can ever do for your hair and along with that, I used every hair product under the sun that were the conventional kind that were loaded with crazy chemicals that hopefully have since been released out of my body. But um. I had the most dry, horrible hair, and um, I was constantly trying to like put masks on it to try to mask the dryness. But really, Victoria, you were bleaching your hair, <laughs> and it just totally killed my hair. So I think that whenever I started eating raw, um, my hair was finally like, okay, I'm going to release this so I can grow better hair. And that's since what's happened to me. My hair is a lot thicker. and. And I've always had fine hair and I think that I always will but my hair is really healthy right now and I think that um, the products I use and the fact that I do not color my hair and I never will again really plays a huge part into your hair health and um, I have even had thoughts in the last six months like oh I just want some highlights you know because I'm a very girly girl and I love all that stuff but I am not going to risk losing my hair again or drying it out and it just looking horrible um, for that toxic stuff, you know? And I think that whenever I'm at a certain age and I start getting gray hair, I think that I will just use like the henna hair dye um, because that is like really good for your hair. So if you want to color your hair, look into using henna, the Morocco method henna. Um, that's my favorite. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of talk about that and kind of address it because lots of women are torturing their hair and are wondering why it's like really unhealthy and falling out and stuff like that. But anyway, I only got one question for my YouTube um, Q&A. So this is from Fontenoy Mary Lou. And she said, hey, I love your channel. What do you think of juice fasting? Do you think when juice fasting we should put more veggies than fruits? I love the idea of juice fasting balancing my phone on my tripod. Um, I totally love the idea. I know that there are some people on YouTube that are in the vegan community that seriously bash juice fasting. Hello, why would you do that? And they say that it's because like you don't get enough calories and you're gonna like ruin your metabolism or whatever. And I'm not saying that you should be on a juice fast for seven years, okay? But I think that a 30 day juice fast, 60 day juice fast, like Joe Cross did in Fat Sick and Nearly Dead, I think that that can seriously clean you out. And uh, we seriously need that in this society. I mean, we have been growing up eating hamburger helper, ramen noodles, and steak and potatoes. And because of that, we are creating a massive amount of junk in this GI tract. And also, our, the kidneys are clogged, people's livers are so taxed that it's like crazy. So I think that in this society that we live in, with people having the amount of medical problems that they do, I see absolutely nothing wrong with juice fasting, fruit fasting, water fasting. I love it and I'm a total proponent of it. Um, in terms of more veggies, I, I, I totally think that the society does not get enough greens on a daily basis. So I am a proponent and I'm a lover of green juice. So I think that if you can put a ton of greens and maybe a few apples or lemons, I think that that's your best bet for me. I think that for some people, I was just talking about this last night to someone, but I think that for some people, um, fruit juice can throw off your sugar metabolism, especially if your adrenals are not healed because your adrenals control sugar metabolism. I think that that can give some people some problems. And um, I know that like Dr. Morse believes that 
fruit juice is really, really cleansing. And I'm, I'm sure that that is true because the astringents and the, the water and stuff in fruit is so cleansing. So I agree with him too. So it's like I'm like back and forth with that. But for the most part, when I think of juicing, I think of green juicing. And I think of like the kale going through the juicer and the spinach and the celery and the cilantro and the parsley. That's what I think of when I think of juicing. And, um, but on the other hand, orange juice, raw organic orange juice is like liquid sunlight. So, I mean, I can kind of see why people love fruit juice and stuff like that, but I love green juice and that's what I think would be your best bet. We also really just really need the minerals and the greens. Like I cannot say this enough. So yeah, that is the end of my Q&A, you guys. It went a little bit everywhere, didn't it? But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you later. Bye.